hip with a pot, right? Then you take your right foot or your left, and you bring your heel like this, and then you rotate it like this, and then push your foot forward, and then bring it together, and you have a perfect isosceles triangle. You're, you gotta go in a little more. So do it again. Take your right foot, perfect. Now rotate your feet open. You just open your feet. Now squat, just like that. Don't let your knees knock. Difference? Uh, okay. Can you just feel the difference? Yeah, it's like perfect. All there. So you take this this foot, your right mm -hmm. foot, and bring it okay. heel to heel. Bring it behind the heel. There. Now just open it like this. Just come onto your tippy toe and open your foot. Scooch it forward. And then now go like this. And there you go. That's a perfect isosceles triangle. Wow. Right? And that's just a good way. Because people who don't have a hard time with hip width. Yeah. They just do it. And so that's another trick, this. And then you just rotate and then you come up. Just, uh, and then there. And it may and you really use your glutes way more than you know. So now let's talk about tippy toes. So I, I just lift your toes off the ground without shifting your body weight. Why you lift your toes so high? Because you need to practice that. That's what you don't have. So this so you're gonna go one one thousand two with the right, drop it. One one thousand two with the left, drop it. Right. Left. My back was a little tight today because yesterday I was doing side yoga yep. without my injury. Interesting. So your muscles were off and not used to it. So yeah. they get okay, now you ready? Now you're just going to come onto the tippy toes just for a minute. Now, not the toes, the tippy pads of your feet. Okay? So we need partner, is what we need. So take, just go to a wall, use my hand, and just down. Don't be afraid. You're not going to push me over. All right? Now, not only are you going up, Good. Go sideways for me for a minute. So not only up, so you're going to come up on the tippy, and then you want to make sure you can get your toes up, and then you want to get as high as you can, and then be in perfect posture. And go down. Now you got to use your quads to get as high, too. So this is just a very good way to fix My ankles. You do pretty good. But okay, y'all, really listen to me. Easy. These ones are up, but these ones yeah, aren't. Okay. So you gotta work on that. Just right now, hold them up, get them up, hold them, make them stay open and look at them. One, and hold, one, two, three, four, five, nice. So then you can just come on one and just try to lift them all and just see, like you'll mm -hmm. see. Okay. It like doesn't. It's high. So that's gonna be, so for you right now, all I want you to do is learn how to lift just your toes. We're just gonna work on that right now. That's gonna develop something called the TBI with That's gonna help. Yeah. 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 It's that's where you feel it. Like. That's gonna help develop develop that. Okay. So and then once you do that, once you can lift them up, you wanna be able to do it five times and hold them for two seconds. And it's kind of hard to do. It's, it's a lot of it's mind over matter. You might have to start just your big toe and then maybe work your way to the out. While they're all up, make sure you can feel the whole all the four corners of your feet, if your feet had four corners, so the whole outside of the heel, and then from the big toe to the little toe, the instep can be up, but they could be a little, you know, weight on the outside of your feet. And you want to try to open your toes. Okay. This is a good way to strengthen ankle, right? As well. Yeah, you're doing it. See? So you have to intentionally do it. Yeah. Um, sitting down sometimes helps too. You can be yeah. sitting as well. All right, so you can do it sitting or standing, work on just getting your toes lifted. Then yeah. the next yeah. part is coming up onto your, we call it tippy toes, but really it's tippy pads. It's the pads, the pads, the ball of your feet is where you want to be. So you just want to come up, go down, breathe. Up and go down, and even if you're squeezing a little, it's okay. The side of. You'll get it, you will. It's not gonna work immediately, something you have to build the no, movement like pattern. These go up and then this toe just falls. Yeah, I can say a little tight here, and you're probably a little tight in here. <laughs> you're sore. I yeah. <laughs> never thought I'd see you sore. Mm -hmm. you Your feet will be sore. Oh, yeah, so no, yeah, so you wanna be careful because it will get tired. So, so, so no way, you just gotta work on it. That's all, maybe try just opening them first. Try making your toes open wide. And then once you master the art of opening, then come up. And then do a tippy. Then after you're on your tippy, come as high as you can 